You know that feeling of putting on old saggy underwear. You need to know the feeling of great fitting underwear that is two times softer than cotton. MeUndies is the most comfortable underwear you will ever wear. And now MeUndies isn't just for you guys. They launched their All of Me Women's Collection, a four-piece line of undies designed specifically for the female body in all of its complex, gorgeous as hell glory. Go to MeUndies.com slash get Doug and get 20% off your first order and free shipping. They guarantee you're going to be happy with them or your first pair is free. Once you feel me undies on your body, you're never going back. Everybody, it's 419 right now. We started a little late. And uh, so, yeah, we're right up on top of it. Uh, two of my buddies, a newbie and an oldie, are here. We got Zach Perlman and Joe Pettis. Hey. hey! Smoking it up. Yeah, we might as well. Uh, it's going to be 420 any second now, so you might as well hit something. Uh, it's, uh, this is a, oh. it's an upside down <laughs> dinosaur. You know. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, <laughs> It's also tricky to get the, the to light the uh, figured out the belly there. You got to really work it. Yeah. Well, cool. It's, it's one of the tougher pipes. This one, of course, this the is Gandalf a, a terrible dream I had. Very, once. <laughs> it's going to be very uh, difficult to clear. I think maybe I don't know. You're pretty good at this sort of thing. Let's see how you do. Oh! <laughs> 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 I didn't even take a hit, and I'm choking. <laughs> I'm, I'm vicariously me. choking. You jinxed me, man. That's I was big. trying to warn you, yeah. man. That's you were ready to really rip that. <laughs> hey, fuck a warning, dude. Mm -mm. This thing never to, ends. Really quick, I just want to say um, that we're well aware of. Uh, oh, we got some beverage coming in. We're well aware of uh, the uh, horrible. Uh, uh, incident and ongoing uh, event that's going on in uh, Paris right now and we're certainly thinking about them but uh, you know we've been telling people we're going to be at 515 today so the show must go on and uh, this will be archived so it won't be as depressing a time hopefully when people are watching this uh, later but yeah. it's uh, it's crazy what's going on over there and uh, I hope there's as, uh, as few casualties as possible and there's a um, tsunami headed towards Japan uh, right now. So uh, thinking about them, too, and lots of crazy shit going on everywhere. Johnny Jihadi, what's his name? The guy? Johnny they, Jihad Johnny. Jo Jihad Johnny, I guess they, they say they got him. Say they got him in a strong So a little bit strength. of good international news, I guess. Kind um, of. Kind of. <laughs> it's kind of like, hey, we killed this guy, but it's also like, Hey, we killed this guy. Yeah. He's not just one guy. I mean, it's not just him, you know, so there'll be some other guy stepping up, but yeah. it certainly satisfies people to a certain degree knowing that the guy that was doing the beheading of innocent people is uh, theoretically no longer with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, speaking of terrorists and terrorism, uh, Zach is in the new film, The Intern. That's true. It has nothing to do with those that things. That actually has nothing to whatsoever. do with terrorism. <laughs> terrorism but how fun was terrorists. that? Let's start Let's start talking fun things. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. I've been excited to get you high and ask you about uh, working on that movie. You and Adam Devine uh, smoke yeah. a few bowls. Uh, yeah, we vape. After you rap at night? or We'd, we'd vape. <laughs> You'd vape on set? No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, we vaped... Um, like, just because in New York it's so much easier to just like have a vape. Yeah, that's the thing to do. Weed. And um, so we'd get, you know, we'd vape. And uh, but De Niro, no, De Niro doesn't touch stuff. I, unconfirmed. Really? I don't know. Interesting. I have a feeling he does. He he hits the bong pretty good in uh, Jackie Brown. I mean, and like you know, you live so many years. You of live your that life. kind of life. Yeah, he's yeah, done a dude. lot of living. He's he's done a lot of living. He's, Somebody gave me this, what? I was going to say, you know that song from Bye Bye Birdie? Got a lot of living. He doesn't need to sing that. <laughs> that's what you were going to say? That's for, I'm yeah, glad that's we for, skipped over that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was for four people. Right now. Somebody gave me this uh, THC potion that you just spray in your mouth. Uh, it's called Jambo. 
Hey, let's and go to hell and back, man. They gave me a yeah. little bit of it. Well, this is the 500 uh, milligram version. That's 100. I don't know how much is in a spray of it or m numerous sprays of it. One I tried it last night. Do 10. Yeah, do 10. Okay, 10. Here we go. 10 or 9. Well, 100 eight, of these. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Zero. Is that 10? <laughs> hey, babe. Might have been 11. <laughs> All right. But the thing is, is it's very pepperminty. It doesn't taste, usually tinctures oh, taste pretty gnarly. You guys are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, that's not good. I think there's 500 milligrams in the whole body, uh, the whole bottle. Oh, but that the makes after sense. The aftertaste is no, good, The aftertaste is good, actually, It's yeah. pepperminty. Like, you, it gives you good breath instead of Oof. stinky, stinky weed breath. You're really reading over this that's thing scary. to make sure I didn't just Serving size, <laughs> one spray. <laughs> Did it. Glad you read it first. Yeah. <laughs> I, I said a ridiculous uh, number like 10. Oh, yeah. Fully knowing that this is a lot. <laughs> Whoa. What's an MG? Because you get three THC. Milligrams? You get three milligrams of THC per spray. How much is like enough to get you But high? three milligrams isn't that much. Yeah. So I So I just got, by doing it 10 times, we got 30 milligrams. And usually when I That's take exactly. like a weed pill, it's about 30 milligrams. Yeah. And I bet you this, oh, so you, the way I was spraying it, I don't know. I don't know if I was doing it right, if I was getting enough of it. You know, I we'll think see. I get all we'll of see it. Uh, as the show progresses. Uh, if we just get really ripped, you guys want to do some shots of it? Just from doing. <laughs> you mean just clear a bottle? <laughs> just put it, put it in your. Yeah, drink? Let's just clear bottles. It's like the it. airplane bottles, right? Come on. But then this one's supposedly lesser. Uh, yeah, this is 100 this milligrams. This is 100 milligrams, so that can't be. I'll do 10 squirts of that. Oh. Uh. I want to taste this one though. I want to see if it's uh, got a different flavor to it. You guys got to try these vapor pens. Are really good. They're delicious. Right. Oh, cool. Uh, the Gandalf and the dinosaur are fun well? to smoke out of this. too. Whoa, this thing's Those sick. terrible, great. You just can't put them in your uh, checked bags because they um, they even tell you not to because they uh, the altitude makes them explode in the bag. Whoa, uh, we terrorists makes a big mess. Hey, so, real, real question. Did you say too soon? Yeah, too soon. Well, to that I say that's what she said. Yeah, yeah. That's what she said. So I horrible cliches over here. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> no, too soon is hey, the that's some what you she lose. said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go to town. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like trying to chew on it. <laughs> What if you do like that cheesy did thing? Did it like, come right, out gummy? Like right before you kiss a girl, you like hold up. I don't like the taste of this one as much. Hold yeah. up, I hold up, get I gotta get high. high. <laughs> hold up, I can't do this regularly. <laughs> but maybe in a you know in a horrible uh. situation, it doubles as mace. Oh yeah. You just spray it in somebody's eyes. It can't and be good. Very friendly out. mace. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, let's get sleepy. Sorry about Dude, that. Dude, I hey, Aziz's new show is great. You want to come over and watch it? <laughs> That's my favorite kind of robber. What's that show called? I keep forgetting the name of it. Master of None. Yeah. yeah. It's really fantastic. I haven't watched it yet because I'm trying to watch a lot of movies right now. I finally saw the uh, Miami, uh, you know, uh, Reno 9-11 Miami. Oh, really? I finally saw that movie. It was really funny. It's very funny. Did you watch I it today? I enjoyed a great deal. Yeah. I saw you tweet about it. Yeah, I watched it today and then I tweeted it. And then I, you know, and then as soon as it went off on On Demand, the news came on. Oh, yeah. And uh, Brian Williams or whoever was... Uh, Talking about all this horrible stuff in, in uh, Paris. I told my friend on the way here, I was. she was like, hey, what's up? And I was like, hey. And she was like, what's going on? Anything new? And I was like, have you heard about Paris? Usually people who like are still really happy and cheery. Oh, yeah. I heard <laughs> about the, like, you know, dozens of people <laughs> murdered in a terrorist attack. You see it on Twitter. You see people that just don't know yet are like oh, yeah. promoting oh. their projects and making jokes and just acting like it's business as usual. And then some people, if you say anything that's not about Paris, then oh, they yeah. tweet at you, hey man, this thing's going on. And it's like, yeah, but I was just responding to questions that don't have anything to do with yeah, that. I yeah, like it's I'm, not like life's not like I'm making shit, crazy yeah, but... jokes and stuff, but. The other, the other thing that I love is that when a tragedy happens, it's only like, you can literally count to 10 and one like GOP head figure will come out and say something fucking insane. Oh, yeah. Like Newt, Gring Newt Gingrich. Has already talked about this? It, dude, it, his first tweet, it was like 10 minutes after they announced it or like the news came out. And he was like, if there were 10 to 15 armed <laughs> permit carrying citizens, <laughs> something like this wouldn't happen. And it's like, what fantasy world do you live in <laughs> where like a bunch of cowboys happen to if be everybody in a just started <laughs> shooting it would solve the problem <laughs> it's yeah it's exactly like you know that scene in three amigos 
when the Germans come in. And you know which scene you meant. <laughs> which one? When the two Germans come in, and then uh -huh. um, so he's like, sit on my pretty little lap. And then it's like a whole, it's because everybody doesn't know who the bad guy is. You know? Yeah, yeah. That guy shot that guy. That guy. I, know, I didn't follow it. Yeah, I, uh, I think it's too. I get too many. Doing pretty good. No, I only had one. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I maybe, too many. Maybe you guys. I can't <laughs> comprehend any. Or maybe I'm really high. And Joe yeah. likes to. Um, he tours around doing stand-up comedy, and one of the things he does is a, a show called the, the Underwear Comedy Show, where all the comedians just do stand-up in their underwear. Oh, dude, that's great transition. Great. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it's tons of fun. Tons of fun. I like being in my underwear. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like you're standing on stage in your underwear, you do that? Doug won't yeah, do it. Doug care. refuses to do it. Yeah, Why? you're like, you know, I'm just shy. <laughs> yeah. he, doesn't, he doesn't need to do uh, it. People come to uh, see him no matter shy. what. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't need to be in my underwear. <laughs> I have to get in my underwear to show up. Show up. It yeah. gets people to not uh, yeah. come if I yeah. put just in my underwear. <laughs> But uh, but it's a fun concept, I think. I yeah. like the idea of it. It's like karaoke. Just because I don't do it doesn't mean it's bad. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, it's yeah. just not for me. You know? <laughs> but so because my show is up there of karaoke. Right. But because you don't do karaoke, you are bad. I am bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm bad for that. Um, this is lamb's bread. Is the sativa we've been uh, smoking on in all the pipes? If you guys want to try an indica, we've got some. Uh, what is this? King. What does it say? Covis? King, King Covis? Covis? I mean, King Louis. What? King Louis. King Louis. King Louis. Oh, I want to try that. That's King the name King of my cat. Louis Louis. Your cat? Louis. That's the name of my cat. After Man's the Jungle bread? Book character? Yeah. King Louis? Because okay. my cat came up to me. I'm the king of the swingers. Ooh. All right. I'm going <laughs> to. The Jungle VIP. Did you guys want me to sing the whole thing? Yes, um, go for it. And this was showing karaoke. off that I know it. Now, this is not karaoke. <laughs> I'm not staring at a screen wondering what the words are and uh, having to really do be good. Um, this thing, it's called Incredible. I found it when I was, I'm going through all my stuff because I'm, oh. I'm packing up to, uh, to move. And I uh, found this. And uh, it's a fun device where you... Uh, basically like a pipe bong, you know, like it looks like a pipe, but then it's got uh, serious bong hit action because you uh, you got this spring-loaded deal here. Ooh, it's like gravity. They're bite. actually indestructible. I've watched, some video, I've watched some videos where they have like trucks and oh, stuff. Oh, like on Mythbusters? Yeah, well, maybe not Mythbusters, <laughs> but they're all like, yeah. They're probably These yeah. ones? Yeah. Right. Are you positive? It's like I'm you can like try smash it up here. against a table and it, well, yeah, well, it just stays the same. It's it's complicated, well, and then yeah. I do and that, that, and then that happens. happens. You gotta yeah. do that, Doug. Yeah, it, it does, you can't smash smoke. it against you carpet <laughs> weed. Smash it. Carpet weed. Here you we can't go. smoke. You can't smoke it, but it's indestructible. I think you could break this. Oh Try no, it. maybe you can't because it's kind of plastic. Yeah, it's like a weird. It's not glass. It's a weird polymer it's not full blown thing. glass. All right, let me try it. See if I can do this right. Full blown ass. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Wild. Oh, I should get lighter so I look cool. <laughs> All right. Did it work? You want to oh, hold yeah. this for a moment? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> That's fun. Hey, bottoms like up. You want the Gandalf? I'll take the Gandalf off your hands. Yeah. Finish this one off. <laughs> Joe Pettis? Hey. Riskiest place you've ever smoked weed. Oh, man. Yeah, let's do your high history. Riskiest place? Mm hmm Yeah. Riskiest business. Yeah. yeah probably, Riskiest probably, uh Probably inside jail, or just outside of jail. Whoa, cool. Yeah, while doing, uh, I got arrested for like underage possession of alcohol. I had to do a couple days, and they let me take the trash out, and the guy was taking the trash out was like, hey, man. I got this joint. Whoa. Yeah, and I was already in jail, so I was like, might as well, might as well. Right. Yeah. How was really being high in jail? To not have to. It didn't last. It was didn't last very long. You know, I think I was too paranoid to get too high. Uh, I hit like you once did twice. it at all under that circumstance. Yeah. That's that is uh, that might be the winner of that's uh, pretty uh, risky. Did. We ask everybody. Do you have one, Zach? Yeah, I just like smoked in them once. <laughs> I had dinner with my parents. <laughs> What? I had dinner with my parents. That's about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like smoked weed when I was like 17 and I was like, I'm gonna go and try and talk to my parents. See how I can do. And I was fine. Yeah, right. And they were like, Might Zach, you're, you're cooler than normal. <laughs> <laughs> 
I didn't say that. <laughs> they were no, also smoking weed. No, but woods. that's that's definitely what they were thinking. Yeah. <laughs> like, why are you so chill and cool? So as an actor, you're never high when you're acting? No. You gotta keep you gotta keep them We separated, acted together maybe. in a thing. A yeah. short film. And uh yeah, and um you weren't high and I I might not have been high. Dude, you can get high, I don't care. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> no, I had a lot of dialogue. I had a lot of lines, and uh, we only had one day to shoot the whole thing, so I yeah. uh, I was pretty good for most of the day, I think. Yeah, we didn't smoke weed, but we did a lot of coke. We were shooting a scene. Yeah. <laughs> we were shooting a scene that remember the alarm went off in my pocket, and I had to go outside for a second. Oh yeah. At four nineteen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh crap! I have a phone call to make. It's to my friend, yeah. marijuana. <laughs> Well, when we would write on stuff, me and my friend Brian Posehn would always say, we have to have a meeting with Bernie. Ooh. And then we'd leave and smoke weed. And burn one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you, you know, know how to roll joints? Candidates? Bernie Brillstein. Do you know how to roll joints? Not really well. I don't know how they do. You? Damn, me neither. Bro. Yeah, I'm not a joint roller. Yeah, I mean, you know but what? still turns try. out I can get high it. all the time. I can, but I usually have to, like, get, have to do two papers. You know, like, I'm not really good at it. All right. One tears. All right, poke a bowl. This is always a challenge. What is this thing? This is just to clean out your bowl, but it's difficult to use on the uh, Gandalf because okay. of the crazy shape of it. It's just a piece of plastic with a nail sticking out of it. Yeah, basically. <laughs> it's genius, though, because yeah. it you know it clears anything real quick. Dude, we got to call this thing the Riddler. And then it's got rubber <laughs> It's got rubber in the bottom so that uh, all the ash doesn't stick. It just pours right out into oh, that's whatever cool. you're oh, pouring that's it great. into. Someone got really yeah. high and put some thought into that. Yeah. I say good job, Pokeball. Yeah. They keep making nicer ones, too. Pokeball. This is a custom one for us because it says getting done with high on it. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what you'd say. <laughs> that's another way of saying you gotta be a completist is you get all the different, uh, all the different types. Uh, we always keep track, or, or someone else keeps track, and they pass it to me on a blue card of how many uh, viewers we have per capita uh, out there wow. in the... Uh, United States. Have we ever done like some foreign numbers? Because uh, somebody was asking me about, tell us how many of us are smoking over in wherever, you know, or watching. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that might be something to look at. He always gives me some uh, different <clears throat> fun statistics. Let me ask you guys, let's do a uh, pot quiz hop shot. Sh sure. And, um. Oh. I'm gonna ask you. Yeah, babe. Which of these three ways do you think that most people watch this show? On a computer, on a game console, or on a mobile phone? What? Ooh. Which one is the most? That's, not a, one? that's not a hard question. Why not? Joe is acting it's, like it's hard. But why? I, no, I'm wondering why. It's gotta be a computer. Why aren't tablets included? Oh, wouldn't is tablets. That, is that a mobile phone, a mobile device? Maybe tablets yeah. just count as computer or they count as phone? They count as phone. Phone, mobile device. You but also, would. It. Is it, does it, do people watch this sort of thing on a tablet? I would if I would if yeah. I had one. Clips and stuff. They, they watch yeah. it. It's like if you want to watch on your phone, yeah. but bigger, you know? Yeah. It's long form though, you know? Do you have an iPad? Yeah. Do you I watch? watch shit on it. I just, no, you just use it for Netflix. That's watching stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is oh, it's not something that's, it's oh not something that's happening. Dude. It's not something that's happening live. Okay, so for live stuff. So, let me ask you this: for live stuff, I know, right? It shouldn't matter. <laughs> but it's still, I just, I just like when I say I watch Netflix, I watch it for a few minutes and then it has to buffer for a while. And, but you have to understand like, you don't that, really like, get like a great viewing experience. I feel great from, promo for Netflix. <laughs> well, I know Netflix isn't a sponsor. I just have four shows on there. Um, and that's friends and colleagues and. Your grandma, right? Netflix gets me a lot of attention because they have old episodes of Friends and How I oh, Met yeah. Your Mother, so people are like getting all blown away that it's me showing up on those shows for 30 seconds. So, and then uh, four other things. Can I say them all? Yeah. Real quick. It's your... I know, but you know, you sound like you got something you want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Uh, Doug Dynasty, Super High Me, uh, Greatest Movie Ever Rolled, and Chronicon, episode 420, fans... A new dope. Uh, all of those are um, hashtag. Yeah, I can't even get the title of that movie right. Yeah, <laughs> it's so uh, I made such it's a, a complicated. 
Uh, yeah, it's a computer is what they watch the show okay, on the imagine, most. Yeah. And that's it. But that's just 38%. It's not like wildly ahead of the others because game consoles at 24 and wow. mobile phone is at 21. And I think that's also the numbers for, uh, equal for Carson, Trump, and Rubio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Oregon is our sixth, uh, has its sixth win as the state that most of the people watched the show the Whoa. last episode. And That's they've won cool. three times in a row now, taking the crown from a frequent winner, which is uh, Washington, D.C., the uh, District of Columbia, and then Col Colorado, Washington, California. Like, it just really falls out that the uh, places where it's most legal uh, watch this show, which, again, to me, that's right. We got to go to a break. They gave me the two minute signal about 10 minutes ago. Um, I'll leave this as a cliffhanger or I'll forget completely. Either way, we'll find out what I was about to say or not when we come <coughs> back. We'll be right back. You know that feeling of putting on old saggy underwear. You need to know the feeling of great fitting underwear that is two times softer than cotton. MeUndies is the most comfortable underwear you will ever wear. And it's insane how good they make you feel. They fit perfectly, they don't ride up on you, and they literally pull moisture away from your skin so you stay cool. Just look at Gabe, he's got a pair on right now and he is floating. It's like magic underwear. What else would Gabe wear? The the materials they use are sustainably sourced from the Austrian Alps and they are completely natural. They also use a CO2 neutral process with a low carbon footprint. And MeUndies isn't just for you guys, they just launched their All of Me Women's Collection, a four piece line of undies designed specifically for the female body in all of its complex gorgeous as hell glory. I'll make it easy, go to MeUndies.com slash get Doug and get 20% off your first order and free shipping. They guarantee you're going to be happy with them or your first pair is free. Once you feel MeUndies on your body, you're never going back. Welcome back to Get It Done with High. All right, welcome back to Greek Dogs Wank Hogs. Uh... <laughs> that, that little musical sting that as long as people seem to like it will remain a part of the show uh, when we come back from commercial. It's a good way to like let you know. Don't tell the sponsors I said this, but let's say you get up and walk away for during the commercials. You start to hear that music and you know it's time to get back and put your eyes back on the computer. It's an old trick I like to use where I don't watch the commercials. Oh, yeah. When I'm on. When well, 34% of people who watch it on the computer. <laughs> um, yes. Great with you're great with yeah, remembering remember. numbers, buddy. Well, I'm here with Joe problem. Pettis and Zach Perlman, uh, the stars of the Intern, and that music was by Jack Nuttall of Oxford, Ohio. So thanks, Jack, for thanks, uh, Jack. supplying that free of charge. Real music. He made, he made the thing up. You guys will hear it again in a little while and can weigh in on your opinion of it. Okay. 1,700 people watching us right now. Whoa, cool. Whoa. Zach, if you could pick one episode of Mulaney, which one was your favorite? That's from Johnny Hemp One, who he gets through a lot of, uh, with the questions. He uh, has good ones. The last, the last episode that they aired was really my favorite to shoot. Yeah. I think everybody was just in rare form. I think we all kind of knew what was going on. but So we just had the most fun. Right, because he was just like, there's nothing on the line. It's just... It's really for you. And yeah, it was for us, and so it it's was like your own party getting to do a show. Yeah, it was so much fun. That that really is like one of my favorite. Uh, Martin Short, to to ridiculously, insanely fun to be around. The most fun person. Because <laughs> I think that there's always enough people on set that he's pretty much going to be just a funny, fun guy all the time. Yeah, and like what? as long as there's a little bit of an audience. I think when he's alone, I swear, I bet he's a really serious dude that doesn't dude, and it's, constantly make jokes. But when there's people around, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say that. I would say like one on one, he's just still <laughs> like a genuinely happy person. Right, but and like, so I think you're not he trying is, to make jokes if you're talking right, to him about right. something. But he's not like, you know, he can be serious. But everyone can be, but he's yeah, just Whoopi like, Goldberg can be serious. I've heard. Somebody bothered to write in on Twitter to, that it's Whoopi Goldberg's birthday today. Praise like, be. Why would I? What Praise kind of show do you think I'm doing? 
I touched the outfit she wore in Ghost yesterday. They want to know. Yeah. Well, give it up. <laughs> did you give it back or? Yeah, I did give it back. Where did you touch it? At? Uh, Paramount Studios. Shout out to Paramount Studios. Someone, someone, let, just someone let me on the, the yeah. Someone let me on the lot, and I just there's all this stuff, and like the thing that stuck out the most was Whoopi Goldberg's outfit from Ghost. It? Yeah, it was like in this room. It was in the archives room. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to. Touch I don't it. think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. yeah, it pretty cool. I got something I need you to touch real quick here. <laughs> I've, been waiting, I've been waiting for that exact moment to brag about that. I'm great with segues <laughs> today. Have you seen this on the show? Oh, yeah. The, the uh, monkey that's a lighter that if you turn the correct arm, it'll. Somebody asked on Twitter, how come you guys have never smoked a bowl using that guy? And I was like, that's a good question. I don't think we have. So I'm going to do it right now. I think I know how to do it. I think I can make this work. I'm worried about you guys with that spray. <laughs> it's it's what I'm thinking about right now. Yeah. I'm like, there might be code red up in here yeah. in like 10 minutes. <laughs> well, we've got uh, EMT steady. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That was, wow. Wait. Was that the same bowl? Are we nope. all gonna smoke the monkey yeah, he bowl? Did, he did pass it. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, I just put it down. I'm very rude. I know. That's cool. But I also took greens on that one because I was uh, just wanted to <laughs> smoke something with the, that. What do you think of it? <laughs> I think it took you forever to pass it to me. I know, because I was gonna move on to something else there and then go. pass it to you. All right, well I'm hitting it. Trying to run a show here. Because I forgot, I remembered, because I wrote it down the thing that I was saying going into the break, that the the fact that people are so excited about weed in Colorado and California and Oregon, Washington, and D.C. Uh -huh. is because, it, you know, it's very legal. In, it's legal in four of those states and in California. Uh, of course, it's as close to legal as you can get without being legal. Kinda, yeah. I mean, we get it's away like with doing this. It's like a joke that it's not legal. It's really <laughs> weird. But this is proof that, you know, the old thing they used to say, like, all these things have to get batted down, and it takes time, I think, to do it. But you know how people used to say that uh, part of the thrill of smoking marijuana is that it's illegal, and that oh, yeah. people would be less interested in it if it were legal? There's no point in making it legal. That sounds like a cop's yeah, excuse. Totally not true. It's yeah. just the dumbest it's thing. It's like a cop yeah. would be like, well, they're probably doing it because it's illegal and they hate us, and that's yeah. why we hit them. Which is a silly excuse because then it makes them no reason for them to exist. You know, that's the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, a cop should get down with some yeah. OG. I need you, you know? to take this monkey <laughs> and describe it. What do you have to say about that monkey? <laughs> Give us your Darwin analysis. Darwin Just analysis. What, do you, what do you think of it? Just give your impressions of it. It's difficult to use. Yeah. Right? But I think you figured it out. Yeah. Do you think it could be good like, for kids? Like to uh, have around kids? It's really heavy. Have it, have it been around it? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it, I knew that's what you were going for and I did anyway. What, no, what I need happened? you to hold this. God damn it. What just happened? Nothing, just, let's just continue with the show. Let's do some, uh, <laughs> Uh, let's do some pot topics. Pot topics. <laughs> this is just stuff that's going on in the. Do uh, you have any thoughts on it? <laughs> no. Well, which, how would you describe that though, if you, if you had to? If you were to describe a, a, a things on ador party. Adorable. Okay. Anything else? Lightweight. What about like tactilely? Like, what do you, what do you appreciate or comfy? Find interesting about it. <laughs> It's, give it to Zach. <laughs> Pass it to Zach. What do you think of that thing? This is great, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hot topics. Here we go. Hot topics. You saved yourselves from another uh, air horn. Um, <laughs> Thank God. There's some. This is a bummer. First story to start off with, but uh, they passed medical marijuana in Illinois in uh, 2013. And uh, they were projecting to have 100,000 100, initial patients. Uh, but the program is far from up and running, and they only have 3,300 patients at this point, like, I guess, officially signed up. But Monday, dispensaries finally opened their doors. Only six pot stores are open statewide. Wow. But more expected over time. I guess it's not that as big a bummer as I thought it was, but it's just moving pretty slowly. And people need their medicine, you know? I mean, that was my big argument for the Ohio thing. It's like, even though 
Nick Lachey would have owned everything. It still would have been cool that people would get their medicine from a store. Like when you're yeah. in Denver, it's just, it feels like you're in another world or another planet or at least Amsterdam. That you can right. do they're everywhere. The stores are everywhere in like downtown Denver. And um, you just really? waltz in yeah. and you can be from anywhere. You like, it doesn't, you could be from out of country out of, out of the uh, And what do you say? Uh, like state. Do you just have to be over 18 or I think you need to show an ID. I you gotta get pay. High. How yeah, old do you gotta say to I wanna get high? And they're like, hey, be cool. Be cool. <laughs> Whoa, they say that? <laughs> cool. It's, it's like how Chick-fil-A say my pleasure. It, it is funny how the conversations in there, nobody's like, I'm gonna get fucked up <laughs> on this. You know? Yeah. Like it's very much like just you're in a public store. And you know you don't really go too crazy, but yeah, uh, it's, I mean it's not like you're giggling on the inside the whole time, you know. Oh yeah, I'm because going you next feel week like... for it. Just going on like a weed vacation. Woo, yeah. dude, this thing is that's real a real nice. nice. What yeah. else is it? It's real nice. Oh, real nice. Good. I'm not gonna say what it is. <laughs> Other than a llama, uh, alpaca. It's a llama. I think it's an al- hashtag heavy monkey. It should have been alpaca. Llama. I'll pack another bowl. Come on. Yes. <laughs> I like your yeah. attitude, because uh, we got to keep it going. Whoa. Chill that out, miss, that, this, this stuff didn't get me. I'm fine. <laughs> Does it cry, drive you crazy a little bit when like somebody smokes weed in a movie and they like start tripping, they like Dude, start seeing shit? Yeah, there's a movie, I can't remember what the movie is, but I guess they like- True take... it? <laughs> The original one. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. um, it, they, I think it's like Owen Wilson and Jason Sudeikis eat pop brownies and then are just oh, is like, that like uh, what, the one where they get a free pass? Who knows what it's called? Hall pass. Hall, Hall pass. pass. Yes. They, they're like, gah, gah. <laughs> they look like monsters. <laughs> Yeah, it was in the, wasn't it in like Knocked Up that they go see uh, a Cirque du Soleil show and they're really high? No, they're on mushrooms. Okay, good. But whatever you're on <laughs> in a Cirque du Soleil show, you'll feel like you're you're pretty fucked oh, up. <laughs> like, yeah, they but... kept showing like the crazy man baby thing. And it's like, no, that's terrifying even if you're not on mushrooms. Yeah, but <laughs> mushrooms would make you, I think, honestly, if I was having a bad trip and I was... <laughs> I wouldn't put myself in a Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> yeah. What about actually in this Cirque du Soleil, like the performance? Like if you could take shrooms and be part of the performance. Dude, if I, I was that like skilled athletically, fuck yeah. Okay. I'd well, be I, like, I can do this, whatever. <laughs> whatever, I'm really skilled athletically. <laughs> I got this. I'm skilled athletically. Oh, it's so, oh, it's so. So you're not allowed to how, say it? I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to blow it. I'm not gonna say that it's luxurious. It's like really hard. It's really, um... <laughs> that's the only <laughs> problem, is that it's really hard. <laughs> it's the hardest thing I've ever touched. <laughs> it's like, there's two different words you could say, and you're not saying either of them. We're gonna do a show where, uh, I don't know if I should spoil this. Um, these, all these pipes and stuff, they interact and stuff uh, at night when we're not here. <laughs> like Toy Story? They have, their own, they have their lives. They're like the island of misfit pot toys. Uh, mayor, governor, <laughs> governor, mayor. I don't know why I threw the word mayor in there. Uh, Andrew M. Cuomo signed two bills on Wednesday to establish an emergency medical marijuana program. Emergency, that seems weird. Uh, but he's trying to, you know, what he's doing is speeding up the timeline for legal distribution of medical marijuana by saying, let's start with emergency medical marijuana. Cuomo, Governor Cuomo. What state, Illinois? <laughs> no. <laughs> Where's Governor Cuomo, my man? Yeah. New York, is it even uh, in here though? I don't uh, think it's Cuomo, anywhere that's what I thought, in here. But I didn't know. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about New York, but he's yeah. He's the governor of Weezer. It's New York. <laughs> They say many details are unclear still. So uh, ev- even if you're uh, high and having trouble figuring out this story, uh, they, there's not much more. There isn't. Can, there there is no detail. Detail. They can't say much more. I didn't know where he was the governor of. Hmm. I'm too high. Uh, yeah, well, you, how, much, care, how much do you think the spray had to do with it? I don't know. We've done I'm a lot of it. I'm not too high. I guess I mean, I'm like, like too high all the time to know who the governor of New York is. 
to have that knowledge. Well, that's also not your what yeah. you like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's not what I like. <laughs> don't be so don't be so hard on yourself. I don't like governors. I well, fucking hate one, where governors. Well, I got another from. governor yeah. story for you. Okay, I'm sorry to that's say. Okay. From uh, the neighboring neighboring one? New Jersey. No, no. I love governors. He's more entertaining. But yeah, that Chris Christie though, he is uh, he's very anti uh, marijuana. He says over his dead body, will it become uh, legal? Legal New Jersey. Yeah, <laughs> or if he becomes president in the United States. States like he would start trying to stop it and push it back. And oh, dude, he's repeal he place. Zero say. Yeah, he right. He's not going to yeah. make it, but he's still uh, pretty he's powerful say. in New he's Jersey. Yeah. And he just signed a bill that allows parents to give their sick children marijuana oil at school without putting themselves or educators at risk. Whatever that means. I mean, that sounds like a spray. very extreme situation where, yeah, yeah <laughs> where you know, a mom would have to bust in on a classroom yeah. and spray some of that down, Boom! down the come kid's here. gully. Yeah. Come, yeah. <laughs> so oh, she'd make him come over to her yeah. after she busts down the door? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was always because embarrassed I didn't want to get yeah. up. Yeah. I buy that yeah. emotionally. Truth yeah. is, I didn't want to get up or yeah. do a running action. Oh, yeah. yeah. You didn't have to act it out, though. I felt just it. Talk, you can just talk us through it. You did kick that door down. Yeah, I did. <laughs> While in a chair. Yeah. Maybe that's what happened, is there's like a chair way down on the other end of the hallway, and what, and he's running and running, and he jumps into the chair, and it slides all the way down to the door with yeah. the classroom, and then he kicks it open. That's cool as hell. Right? And then that's I like go, a Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future kind of move. That'd be cool as hell. Mm -hmm. Although I feel like you'd have to jump on the chair like AC Slater style. Like backwards? Coming backwards? Yeah, it's like you jump yeah. on it, and then like kick. I don't know. I'll try with my friends later. <laughs> yeah, so me and my buds will just break into a high school later and try. <laughs> uh, Good luck, like New totally Jersey. Do. Like if you do enough of this spray, you will end up doing that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, I just brushed up against it. It's I can't believe how. Um... Is it soft? No. Why would you say that? Because you. <laughs> That's why. Because he's gonna keep nagging us until we did it. And all you had to say was soft or fuzzy. Fuzzy. Either one. Well, I said, oh, I could have said fluffy? fluffy. Yeah, fluffy. No, no, yeah. it's not fluffy. Fluffy. Fuck, I would have said fluffy a hundred times. Yeah, you still can. I would have said it a thousand <laughs> times. <laughs> yeah, say it all you want, man. Yeah. No. I'm glad you... What if I keep saying soft? Yeah, I'm not going to keep okay, blowing the okay. horn. No, no, no. Well, what? So that's it? Huh? So there are no more hidden ones? No more <laughs> hidden... Nope, but you never know. Something, <laughs> something may happen. Except for names of governors, <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know why why any of this is. It's just. Uh, hey man, that's I just, okay. I just that's come back. I just come back from the road every week with some other weird thing, or something gets <laughs> sent to us. And uh, please stop sending us things. But I love it. Uh, I love hate it <laughs> because. Um, not enough things. Send them to me. Yeah, send them to Joe, and then he'll bring the ones he likes yeah. by. And but P.O. Box. Four twenty. Four twenty sixty nine. Boom. <laughs> Greatest zip code. Yeah. Ever. Four twenty sixty nine. Why isn't that a show yet? Four twenty sixty nine. Because it's probably somewhere in like Maryland. And it's really oh, sad yeah. or something. That'd be even better. <laughs> yeah. Four like like we just take over. We just move in and make it the pod capital of the world. Right. Wow. Wow. And 69 in capital. Well, yeah, you know why? Well, I mean, who doesn't 69 after they're high, man? You just. Yeah, dude. You're so high, you got a 69. <laughs> um, I'm saying it like I don't out. even know what it is. <laughs> dude, you got a 69. Oh, man, I 69 high. once. We 69 all night. Like, dude, my, I 69 my ankles my... hurt. It's Kentucky. So I, 69, I 69 by myself all the time. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> just a zero. <laughs> That's just a circle. <clears throat> um, I'm going to do, uh, before we go into the last break, I'm going to do your plugs. In case people are like, you know. Cool. They want to know what's in up. In case people are sitting at home going, these guys are way too high. Like, Can you imagine watching this if you're out of weed and you're just sitting and watching this happen? You'd, you'd feel panicked. They get mad yeah, at yeah. us for like not clearing bowls and for, you know. We've cleared all the bowls. I, you know, my, my technique of just jamming a bud into a, into a pipe makes uh, some people, makes their skin crawl a little bit. Well, you know what? Fuck them. <laughs> no, it doesn't make their That's skin sad. crawl, but you know what I mean? It just makes them go, makes, makes their, uh, raises their hackles. The hackles. Now I do not yeah, know what yeah, you mean. Yeah, I take a more obscure expression. <laughs> yeah, I, I no to longer fix know what the you situation. 
Uh, Joe Pettis. That's me. Uh huh. Underwear comedy party show is going to be in the aforementioned Denver, and you're going to go visit a weed store. I wish yeah. I could tell you a good one to go to. Uh, there's lots of them though, and the the two that I went to were both very nice. Um, Houston Whatever Fest, November 21, 22. I'm going to be there as well. Yeah, hang yeah. out, man. Okay. <laughs> Can we hang out? Weed's legal in Houston, yeah. right? Uh, it will be. Yeah, someday. It's, it's, a, it's a festival. Mm -hmm. And Joe also regularly hosts a night of comedy at the Sweetwater Brewery in Atlanta. Uh, it's every other Monday. So is it this Monday or the next one? Next Monday, because this Monday I'll be in Denver. Chilling. Oh, you're gonna stay there for a while? For four days, three or four days. Oh, because you got the one part underwear show. Yeah, and I'm just gonna hang out. Is this gonna be the coldest place you've ever done the underwear show? No, nah, I did Omaha, Nebraska when it was like 10 degrees or something. Ooh, well, and yeah. everyone was in 10 degree wow, weather? Didn't yeah, that, yeah. Uh... I mean, it's, an, it's an indoor, Megan? it's an indoor oh. show. I was like, what? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sarah was nice So and yeah, warm. they keep it warm, you know. That's good. Two minutes. Wait, what did it say about you, Zach? Oh, of course, the intern yeah. is in theaters now, and uh, might be out now. Could be, it could be a fun, uh, you know, view on a plane or yeah, uh, VOD. Great, great holiday. I think it's gonna movie. be. I great think it's holiday. gonna be like a uh, why? Is there a Christmas part in it? No, it doesn't even need one. <laughs> it already feels you know, like Christmas. Uh, it's like the Starbucks cup, but yeah, in movie form. The, the Starbucks cup. Tragedy. <laughs> truly, truly. National tragedy. That Anne Hathaway is like a human Christmas tree. She just lights up a room and you prefer her to be seasonal. Let me ask you this. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it didn't um, make any I like sense. her. I do like her a lot, and I'm sure you enjoyed working with her. But uh, I did. She's cool. Yeah. She doesn't. She's not a drug person at all. Chill. She's a serious she actress. She's she smokes she weed. 20 friendly. Oh, she smokes weed? Yeah, dude. Okay, scoop. That makes sense. That's not a scoop. That's like pretty well known. <laughs> really? She's like says it in interviews and stuff? Yeah, I think she so. She tweets about it. She, um, Adam Devine has definitely given that uh, <clears throat> information away. Oh, right. Yeah, he's not shy. Like through songs? No, that's Adam Levine. Oh, it's, Did yeah. You see, <laughs> did you see Pitch Perfect 2? What? Pitch Perfect 2? Yeah. Sorry to throw these hard balls at you. Yeah, sorry. When you're in this state. Uh. Pitch Perfect 2, did, did you stay after during the credits when uh, Adam auditions for The Voice? No. It's hilarious. Really? Yeah, it was one of the funniest parts of the movie. Dude, fuck, I should have. You know, I you, no you, you, know, you was bolted he great? out of there probably, you know, because you probably stopped being high by the time the movie was over. The movie was over, and I was honestly, um, I was asleep. So <laughs> I woke up, and then I left. <laughs> <laughs> Because I got too high before the fucking That would have been an even better treat if you'd have uh, woke up and just watched that scene. And then, oh, that was fun. Dude, that would have been amazing. I enjoyed that It's part. a nice nap. All right, we got to go. Uh, we'll be right back with You Know What. I'm Dan Levy, and I'm the host of Baby Talk. What is Baby Talk? I'll tell you. It's a show where I take my comedian friends and bring them together with little children and a bunch of weird shit happens. And I'm DJ Jensen Cart. You see, for the past three years, we've been doing a live show over at the Meltdown Theater in Los Angeles. And we thought, hmm, how can we make less money? Let's put it on the internet. So we've taken our strangest kids from the live show and paired them with our favorite broken comedians, and we filmed nine episodes for you to watch online. It's an original show that seems very similar to Kids Say the Darnest Things because it is very similar to Kids Say the Darnest Things. And you're gonna love the show, even if you hate kids, especially if you hate kids. Have fun watching, it's very funny. Welcome to Baby Talk, a show where comedians collide with a species just as emotionally undeveloped as they are. Children. I do have a two-month-old nephew. This is probably why I don't have kids. Um, he fell asleep on my lap. I started rolling a blunt on his back. <laughs> Can I kiss your baby on the lips? He's really hot. Oh, <laughs> do people spank anymore, or is that just not no, a thing anymore? No, you can't spank that. I'm bringing it back. <laughs> do you have a girlfriend right now? Yes. She has these really cool eyes, one blue and one green. We call her Husky. <laughs> you don't think I have children? No, no children you know how many now. times I've smoked weed in a bathroom today? <laughs> so the idea was to get kids to help me become a better father. It worked, kind of. No, definitely not. <laughs> Can I talk about when I was really high at a Clippers game? Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was Can I tell the same story? <laughs> <laughs> The 
show is sort of an ironic dialogue between adults and children, so just play into the scene. <laughs> Any dating advice? You know I'm a kid, right? Welcome back to Get It Done with Hi. Oh, yeah. We're getting Love so it. high that Zach is on his I'm gonna cracked try and... cell phone, oh, and yeah. he's going to show us a picture of King Louie. Of his cat. King Louie, what's can we what, what camera should he show this to? What's happening? Did we see it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we gotta look at it there, Zach. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, pal. You can put it away now. Put it away, put it away, put it away now. Um, you wanna see some mat Zach, you wanna see some magic? Huh? We got a magic trick. It's yeah, game time. It it's game time. Game time. Uh, hey guys. Hey, what's up, baby? <laughs> Whoa. 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 That was magic. Yeah. Man. All right, put it. Do you mind helping me? Oh yeah, for sure. All right, tap a card, any card. Take it out, actually. Dude, take it out. Oh, sorry. That one. This one? Yeah, perfect. That's what we got. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have you put your initials or your name or a drawing of some kind on there. That's so much pressure. <laughs> No, right? It's good. All right. Is that good, Dev? I mean, it's got two balls. <laughs> it's got two pairs of balls. You'd be so. surprised how many times that happened. <laughs> it was his idea. Where do I put it right here? Yeah, that's okay. perfect. Where do I put we'll it? Cut it back in the drawing. deck. <laughs> All right. What are we doing? Shuffle the card. What's, what's this trick called? Um, I'm not sure what the name would be, <laughs> technically. But check it out. If I just snap my fingers like that, it comes right up to the... Oh, that's not true. That's not it? No. See, it no. doesn't have anything on it. I actually have something for this situation. I'm gonna take the card, place it inside this little envelope here. Uh-huh. And check it out. I want you to look at this card, but imagine it's the card that you signed, okay? All right. Just try and concentrate on the card that you signed. Concentrate. It actually becomes it. Whoa. That's Whoa. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Turns out like magic like he is thanks, real. He thanks, he thanks his victims. I like that. Thanks, been, for, thanks for letting me fool you guys. Yeah. It'd be great it's awful nice of you. Like Anytime, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, neat. Um, let me do my plugs. I got a ton of them because uh, we're taping. Can I do them? No. <laughs> right. We're taping. <laughs> We're taping uh, Doug Lowe's Movies at uh, Meltdown Comics here in L.A. tomorrow at 4.20. I'll be at the aforementioned Whatever Fest with uh, Joe Pettis. Uh, who else is going to be there? Uh, T.J. Miller, yep. Brooks Whelan, uh, Chris Cubis. They got Jizza. lots of good stuff. And then a lot of music, yeah, too. Jizza's Tons of music. Yeah. Right? It's like three Jizza. times as the music. Jizza. As yeah. Jizza. No, yeah, Jizza. I hope Jizza. people come to the comedy because exactly, there's a lot of right. music, too. I was thinking of the rip. I was thinking about other things, huh? I'm doing stand-up in San Diego at the American Comedy Company on uh, Wednesday, November 25th. That's my annual night before Thanksgiving show, so get your tickets because that usually sells out. Because night before Thanksgiving, let's go out and get drunk and have some laughs, right? Yeah, come on. Uh, I'll be in Raleigh at uh, Charlie Goodnights on Thursday, December 3rd, Irvine Improv, December 28th, Sacramento Punchline on December 29th. I call those my holiday taint shows. Because it's it taint Christmas and it taint New Year's, and looking ahead to 2016, you excited? New yeah. Year coming soon. Hey guys. baby, bring it on! Uh, I'll be at the Plaza Hotel in Vegas on January 24th at 4:20. DouglasMovies.com, uh, bit uh, Billoby.com is where you can go for the merch. Uh, we got mugs, we got T-shirts. Yep, yep. We'll send you a black T-shirt. Uh, blue cards. Maybe these guys will sign the blue cards. Nah. Don't forget to subscribe. How can you miss a single episode? Uh, I know I leaked earlier this week that ASAP Rocky would be with us this evening or today, and I thought it was fun to leak it, and then I regretted it the second I did it, because now here we are, and, and he isn't. But uh, I hear he's excited to do the show, so uh, we'll reschedule. It was a it was a flight timing thing, and uh, we will reschedule uh, hopefully sometime soon. 
And so please don't tweet at me when is ASAP Rocky going to be on, you lying piece of shit. You can tweet that to me. Yeah, yeah tweet that to at Z-A-C-K-P-E-A-R-L-M-A-N. It's not impressive to spell a name you know. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people put an H at the end of my name, but that's maybe because they're looking at me or something. There is actually, um, a, you know, that count is a Doe Benson. There is a real one. I was. I just realized today I was following it somehow. Doe, Doe Benson. It was like D a yeah. Oh you. It's like a What's parody account. What's your name account. on Twitter? Uh, just Joe Pettis. J O E P E T T I S. I just let you do it. Yeah. Were you good at spelling in school? Mm, it's my one of my bestest things. Really? You're pretty good at spelling. I can spell a lot of good, a lot of words, yeah. I, I, you know, when I watch those kids, the Scripps spelling competition, uh, I, I'm blown away because I don't even know any of the words. You actually watch those? I love it. That's funny. I got hooked on <laughs> it when, spelling uh, guy. I mean, sometimes I miss it. You know, it's on ABC now, like on a Friday night, and I forget even what time of year it is. But it's, uh, if Daniel were here, he'd yell out when a few minutes from now. But, uh, <laughs> but we got to wrap it up. But it's, uh, I just, uh, I saw a documentary about it called Spellbound, where you saw like a whole year's tournament in like oh, yeah. one movie. So it was very exciting. The TV sh version is just the end of it. Uh, but it's still, I'm still into it because it's just, it's amazing how smart these kids are. Do you follow are. the trades? <laughs> what? Like, you know, the regional states. Like, no. <laughs> no. 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 Never mind, no. dude. I thought we were going to talk shop. I'm not that into it, man. I'm not that into it. <laughs> But uh, we had a false victory with uh, SeaWorld this week because they said that, uh, you know, they're going to phase out the killer whale shows in San Diego. That's cool. And that's followed by, but we're going to still keep them in tanks and people are still going to look at them and we're still going to breed them in captivity. Uh, so they did nothing. Yeah, they, we'll have to basically, show well, now they don't have to jump up into the air for, to get fed. Now they just have to hope. Well, if that's what they look forward that to, they'll though. get fed. Mm -hmm. Zach is waving in the uh, <laughs> the cue card so that everybody will know that we're it's going end, we're going guys. long, you guys. We're going over so I can make my my Sea World stance known. <laughs> and they're changing nothing in uh, in uh, Houston or Orlando. Good. Like Houston will remain <laughs> so landlocked. Good. Which we is should, where right. whales love to live. Hey, let's whales, go. Let's go free them. Take us in, in, please. <laughs> Dude, if I know whales, which I don't, they love living in Texas. <laughs> um, but yeah, but uh, but human lives, many human lives are, are lost and still may be uh, uh, in in serious uh, shape right now in in Paris and in uh, Japan, and uh, so I'll end on a, a somber note. But I'm glad we were able to ha have some laughs, and uh, yeah. hopefully people will uh, enjoy it. Have enjoyed it or will enjoy it in the archi archives. Thanks again to Zach Perlman and Joe Pettis and to you yes. guys for watching, tweeting, buying stuff, etc. Our next show will be soon, I hope. Watch the YouTube page and my Twitter and video podcast net on Twitter, and we'll uh, try to keep you abreast of what's happening. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.